Hi everybody, welcome very much once again to a classic game from the online ladder. Today we have in the color yellow, it's Lucifron playing as the Mongols. And on the other side of the map, we have Giliardi playing as the Ubits in the color orange. The map is Gorge and a very interesting matchup come here. Aggra two aggressive civilizations to map generator civilizations as well. And I just thought, you know, Mongols, they do trade. And Ubits also trade. But actually, I don't remember the trade wing for the Ubits. I know you, you, you have the Gamba trade wing, right? Where you, you have the bazaar, you have all the little traders here. But do they have actually something that you can, like, use for a trade route? I actually don't remember. We have to check upon that. And Lucifron back on the ladder. I think he has been playing some other RTSs recently, right? I think he was uh, grinding uh, um, Stormgate, for an example. Uh, so I'm not really sure about that. And uh, we have Kiliardi here in the color orange. Levels, not level, but top 17, rank 17 on the ladder. And I would like to see Lucifron's ranking as well if we can just hold on a little bit because all right then let's whoa lucifer found a bunch of sheep that's kind of crazy if you ask me and, the, and he's missing some he, he could have even more that's awesome Great, great findings here from Kiliardi. Finding a whole bunch of sheep on his way home. He's now coming back, delivering that sheep. Beautiful. And what might be the game plan here? So Lucy from rank number 8. So still not too bad. Here we are. On Gorge once again. I, 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 oh, Tower Rush coming in. Actually, I've downvoted Gorge on my own games just because I played it a bunch on last season. You know what I'm saying? And it, it's like, let's try these new maps first and then we go back to the old maps. Villager gonna drop the tower. The two spears will arrest the gold. Are you, it's, I think, don't really care about it. They delete the mining cap. Well played from Kiliardi. So, Lucifron does not receive any bonus raiding resources. Khan being annoying, shooting the villager. This is not, you, you guys remember when the Khan was actually a menace on the Dark Age and Feudal Age? I'm so glad they nerfed the Khan. It was so ridiculous back in the day. Spears go in. They don't do a lot of damage. Good micro from Lucifron, keeping the spears healthy even under the town center. And Oh, one of the villagers actually got very, very low. The tower goes up. Giliardi not being able to stop the tower going up. No units. He's edging up with the military wing. Very, very classic for the U-bits down, down here. <laughs> These days. Just military wing into a fast castle. Economical wing growth. Eight free villagers. A hundred more food on the berry bushes. And they're feeling good. You better believe it. They are. Tower rush goes up. And it was not even on the gold. Just denying the... Berries? No, wait! So little amount of sheep for Kiliardi. He has a lot of sheep under his scout, though. But he's gonna need a bit more because his berries. Ah, no! But it, he's playing a Ubit, right? So he can always build that uh, ramp for free. For No, for free as in doesn't need the blacksmith, doesn't need siege engineering, just needs to make a couple units and they can make the ramp by themselves. He still needs to pay 250 wood, but it's way easier to deal with a tower rush when you are a U-Bits or a Basid than when you are another civilization. Trade wing? Not trade wing. Silver tree, my bad. <laughs> Coming in from Lucifron, always gorge. Is a good map for trading in the aspect where the trade post is in a good position, but it's also a bad map for trading because trading here is always a bit more exposed, so it's difficult 
to protect your trade, especially against U-Bits, where they will generate a lot of map control, they'll be able to perturb your trade, even just with the free Desert Trader that they got, it's very easy for them to perturb your trade. But the trade is not up yet, so Kiliardi's mission right now is to get rid of that tower, and he's raiding as well with this Desert Trader, and he's going in, burning the Ovu, slowly but surely, Steadly, Ovu is going down on the sheep side. There we go, a lot of sheep came back. That's good for Kiliardi because his berries are under tower rush. He could always move to these berries here, right? I don't know if Lucifer will have vision on that. He does, I think. No, 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 he doesn't. The tower vision ends there. So if Kiliardi drops the mill here, he could use those berries. Does it? Kiliardi doesn't even know about that. Sometimes players don't, players don't know about that. Let me see. Uh, I think he knows. He scouted here, right? Because sometimes these it kind of bugs. It doesn't really show what the players know or don't know. You know. All right. A lo okay, a lot of units came out for Kiliardi. A couple, five archers, five spearmen, two desert raiders, and a ram. Coming in to the deal with that tower rush. Of course, Silver Tree goes into the corner. And it's two Kashyyyks and five Spearmen all ready for Lucifron. Double production coming into play. Ram makes its way to the tower. Kashyyyks, they will raid the gold. Good reaction time from Kiliardi. Spearman. Ah, it's, it's tough. Okay. Well played, Kiliardi leaves two Spearmen to protect the goal, and the rest of the units go and destroy the tower. Well played, good split of his army. He needs to do these two things, he needs to delete the tower and protect the gold, but the Spearmen were chasing the Kashyyyks instead of standing their ground and protecting the gold. So the Kashyyyks went away and got one villager. But you are the Ubits, you'll just fast castle and get eight free villagers. It's okay, but with a trade from the Mongols, those eight villagers can really lose impact. Because who cares about eight villagers if you have 15 traders, right? So Spearman chasing here. The Kashyyyks moving around. Archers chasing the enemy Spearmans as well. The Kashyyyks run away safely. But there is a tower being upgraded by Lucifron. Where is that tower? Is it on the gold? Yeah, it's on the gold. Yes, sir. Kiliardi now moving 13 people to food. Everybody's still... Not everybody, but... Okay, he's now moving to the berries. Oh, that's, that's, I was about to comment on that. That he had a bunch of people on the ship, but he's now moving to the berries. To get that faster age up. Only two people on gold, though. He needs a tower over there as well. Just in case... Oh, no. He has some units there. I think two Kashyyyk should not be a problem. And the trade is now starting for Lucifer. We have one uh, trader. It's 72 gold. It's pretty nice. Oh, Ovu under threat. Ooh, Kildiardi has a lot of units here. It do very well. Archers from Lucifer in the back. Doing some damage. They're actually attacking the ram, not the spearman. Yeah, not a lot of spearmen here for Kiliardi, though. Only four spearmen. Three now on the front line. Ovu does go down. Good play from Kiliardi. Oh, he's taking TC fire, though. He's taking a lot of TC fire. And the spearman went down. No, there is one spearman there under the tree. Now it goes down. So only archers. And they're all going down. And now five Kashyyyks, soon to be six for Lucifron. Good army growing, replacing the Ovu. And Kildiardi moving a small army, trying to intercept the trade. But he needs to be very careful because Lucifron now has a good army ready to attack the base of Kiliardi. And that's exactly what he's doing. Look at the amount of Kashyyyks. Seven Kashyyyks and the Khan moving their way to the gold. And two towers being brought up really quick by Kiliardi. One of them will go up in time. But I don't know about the second one. 
There we go, they are arriving. There is only a single Spearman in here. They go, they put themselves in front. It's not enough. The tower does go up. Only one, vill only one villager goes down. That's very good for Kiliardi. But now the archers arrive. And his gold, he's idled. Desert Raiders coming through. But a good number, I mean, three archers in the back. For Lucifer here. Plus two arrive. The tower is killing the archers, so that's good. But Kiliardi, his army is idle over there. They're just waiting for the trade. They are also they're going to do some counter uh, raiding. The tower is going down. Villagers run away. They're healing the tower. Good play. I like that play. But the Kashiks are picking more villagers. Four villagers went down so far. The army for Kiliardi makes its way into the gold of Lucifron, but they are repelled by one single tower. Now they move away. And Lucifron goes back with his army of Kashiks. Did good damage, got four villagers down. But Kiliardi is close to the castle age. So let's see what they can do. Kildare is still with a healthy army over here. But I think this army loses to 10 Kashiks. And here we go. 10 Kashiks will meet the army of Kiliardi. Because it's not a lot of spears in here. They take the charge. They take a lot of damage. Archers in the back don't help a lot. A lot of Kashiks went down. Actually, 5 Kashiks went down. That was very good. But only 3 spearmen alive as well. So Kildare won't be really able to defend here. He's running back to home. He's aging up with the... It's Culture Wing Advancement. So the faster castle edge possible for the Ubits. They will be missing the eight free villagers. But I guess he wants to go castle as fast as possible. And get some better units. Berries ran out. He has some units back at home, but it's not looking good. Eight archers versus eleven. Two Spearmen versus seven Kashiks. Okay, he's going for the next berry patch. Two towers to secure that. Some walls. Always good. But Lucifron is coming in now. I don't think Kildiardi has the time to get the defense ready. It's three towers here. It will be four towers. Actually. A lot of Kashiks, they're coming in. A lot of the archers too. But the, bro, these towers are actually doing an excellent work. The Kashyyyks come in, though. They're looking for blood. Towers are not, uh, walls are not up yet. A bunch of archers. Also in the back to deal with the Spearman. Iliardi needs more. Is he building more archers? Yes. Okay, all the... Oh, bro, another tower was being brought up. Okay. He loses an extra villager, though. And Lucifer now is very ahead economically speaking because of his traders how many traders do we have right now seven really really good um, these towers though are really securing the position for Kiliardi. only now going for wheelbarrow all right mate and lucifer moves back He's waiting for upgrades. He's getting plus one range attack. Plus one range defense already in place. Making a ram with siege engineering. Burning a meal so you can get... First you cancel the upgrade and then you get the raiding bonus. Right? The army from Kildiardi moves up. But the upgrades are not here yet. We have Ghulams on the mix. Not enough units for Kiliardi. Right? 12 archers versus 23. Two Gulams and two Spearmen. And two Desert Traders. That's not enough to defend. Ram making its work. Taking down one of the towers. Only seven more towers left. I am joking. But a lot of towers still here. Up, up for Kiliardi. 
He's gathering a lot of food, getting the archer upgrade. So his 12 archers will be stronger. And there we go. The Manganel on the field. But Kiliadi needs units to protect that Manganel. Because those 14 got um those 14 Kashiks will freely dive the Manganel. Because only two Spearmen. Only one Spearman. Right? Manganel is up. Manganel is very exposed though, and yeah, the Kashix just go in. And I think that's GG, ladies and gentlemen. Because without that Manganel, there is no way Kiliardi survives this attack. Kashix deleting the Gulams and Archers. Archers in the back for Lucifer giving great help here. And the army for Kiliardi goes down. He kills the Ram though. But his army is not here. Not a lot of production to rebuild as well. Towers going down. And there are villagers inside. So more villagers will be going down too. And Lucifer just has too many units for Kiliardi to be able to deal with. Yeah, and I think this is over. 10 villagers going down and GG gets called. The landmarks fall. And Lucifer take this win. Guys, if you enjoyed, leave a like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitch. I see you soon.